In this video, I'm going to show you how to simulate your toolpaths so you can see exactly what you're going to get on the CNC machine before actually cutting it. So here you can see that I've created this design and over on the right hand side, I've got four different toolpaths. Now, at its most basic, if you select toolpaths, there are a couple of ways that you can actually select the simulation. If you select toolpaths and then down at the very bottom, you can simulate all toolpaths. What I tend to do is right click on toolpaths and then simulate all toolpaths. So if I click that, it will just give me a really fast simulation of all of the toolpaths. Okay, and then I can rotate that around and take a look at it. If I click on simulation, it gives me further options. So I can, let's say for instance, delete the waste material. So if I select that, I can get Carveco to automatically delete the waste material. Now, word of warning, sometimes this may not work. So let's say that you have a part that's cut out here, and maybe there's another part in there that's cut out. The software doesn't know what is waste material. So if that is ever the case, then you've got delete pick material or keep pick material. So you can just click on the area that you want to keep or that you want to delete. So if I auto delete it, it just gets rid of the outside waste material. If I want to undo that, just go back and undo it. So this time I'll keep picked material and just click on the center. And it will just do exactly the same thing. Now, if I close the waste material, what I can do now is add a depth color. So any area that's been machined, it will color it in black because I've got it here. So if I apply that, it will color that in black. Okay, I can turn that off and apply. Turn it back on, just apply. Now, if I want to change the color of that, just literally change the color there. Okay. Let's turn that off and then apply. You've also got a material. So if I come down to a material that I like, let's say light oak and apply, it gives me that in light oak. Right, so to delete the simulation, right click on it and then delete. What I'm going to do first of all is go back to the simulation default because for the remainder of this tutorial, it will be in this wooden color and I don't want it to be. So let's apply that so it goes back to normal. Right, so if I right click and delete the simulation, it takes me back. Now, what I can do is select each of these toolpaths and simulate each one separately. So let's say the recess, right click, simulate toolpath. And it would just give me a simulation of just that one. If I just wanted to see the outside cut now, simulate toolpath. And it would just show me the outside cut. Another thing that you can do is if I delete that, is open up the recess, open up chamfers, V-bit carving, so you can see all of the tools. Now let's say I just wanted to see what this quarter of an inch M mill was doing. I can right click on that and simulate that. And it just shows me what that one tool is doing. So if I delete that, another thing that you can do is right click on them and select simulation control bar. And again, you can do this on each of the tools. If you do it in the tool path, it will change the tool automatically for you. And you just need to click play again. So if I do simulation control bar, what this will do, it will actually show you the tool and you can see where the tool is actually moving to rather than just getting a, a really quick finished simulation. So if I select play, it shows you where the tool is going to. Okay. 
and then it changes the tool and then I just need to select play again to do the quarter of an inch end mill. And I can do the same for the chamfers, simulation control bar, press play. So this is just putting chamfers around the edges. Again for the V-bit carving, simulation control bar, press play. And then again for the outside cut. So that's a couple of ways that you can do the simulation. Now, as you can see here, the simulation is quite good and it, it looks quite crisp and nice. One thing that you've got to watch out for, which I explained within the resolution video is the resolution of the model. Now, even though we're not doing any 3D work in this, so it doesn't affect anything really, just affects the simulation, just what you see. Now, if you did have a low resolution, the simulation would look really bad, but it wouldn't cut like that. It's just the way that you're viewing the graphics. Okay, so if I were to, let's say, adjust the resolution and let's bring it right the way down to 200 pixels. And then if I right click on tool paths and simulate all those tool paths, you can see that this looks absolutely awful. Okay, now it wouldn't machine like that. It would machine as you saw it previously. It's just that the simulation uses pixels in order to show you the finished piece. Okay, so if I were to make it large again and then reset the simulation or delete it and then simulate that again, you can see it's gone back to a nice crisp simulation. So that's how you simulate your toolpaths and make sure that they're okay before saving and sending to your CNC machine.